Okay, hi. So today we are going to uh, tell you how to install Z3 as a, a module for your Python. And um, just in case you don't know what is Z3, which I think you know because you are coming to this video. Uh, let's say you have um, a set of uh, boolean variables and then you have a formula involving conjunction, disjunction and those stuff and then you want to check if it is satisfiable or not let's, let's define it more formally so let's uh, define this symbol B with a line like the reals or Q rationals etc this B as the set of boolean values so it contains only two things true and false then consider this question is there any assignment for a and b with the members in b mm -hmm. such that a or b and negation of b is a true statement which you already know it is satisfiable because you can simply put false for b and true for a then true or false is true negation of false is true and true and true is true no okay but uh, let's say you want to use a software or some written code to to do this you don't want to do it yourself maybe it has a lot of variables it's a huge formula and you want to do it in python one choice is to use z3 z3 is a satisfiability module theory solver which is developed by microsoft and it won some competition at some years also so it's a it's a nice thing so you have a py uh, python mm -hmm. just open an editor if a module is installed and you can call it then you expect like import and the name of that module which here is the three uh, i removed it from my computer just to show you how to install it from beginning but just to test it if you press enter that thing exists it should work fine but because python it it does not exist on my computer or it exists but python doesn't uh, know how where to find it and then you see some error message like this let's just uh, have uh, something else i don't know do i have simpy yeah so i have simpy and you see there is no error and it recognizes and i can use it okay fine so how to install z3 for my python well again the routine for installing modules in python usually is that you go to your terminals for example command prompt and then you use the package uh, installer whatever it's called pip pip and then install and then name of the module no z3 and then you expect to press enter and it gets installed well not always it will work if it is on some repository of the modules for python in somewhere then this pip install will will use your internet and go to that repository and take the files and install it and so on no? but if it is not there you will receive an a message that it doesn't exist in in the place that i'm looking uh, in this case this three and also some other modules i remember midas also had this this problem it doesn't says it doesn't exist it it, it installs something let's let's play it's enter and you see it goes find something and it starts something it says it has a version blah blah don't be happy <laughs> what is the reason that you should not be happy i don't know who this put this z3 there and what is it for but let's open the the editor of the python and uh if you pre if you say import z3 well you don't receive an error because there is some module called z3 in your computer and your uh, python has access to it but let's see what is inside this z3 and for that you can use dir 
and then I put Z3. It's a kind of empty package. I don't know really why. Um, why someone put it there? Is it useful? What was the purpose of this fake? I call it fake, fake Z3. But that's definitely not the Z3 we are looking for. And if you start writing the code that to solve that Boolean question, whatever, it will fail and it shows you error. So let's close it and never keep some useless package in your computer, even if it is like a few kilobytes. I prefer to uninstall the, un the useless thing. So pip uninstall this fake Z3. Let's get rid of that. Yes, I'm sure I want to get rid of them. It's removed, fine. So pip uninstall is not the solution. Now I will show you the, the correct solution. What I will do is you go to the GitHub repository of the project Z3 mm -hmm. and then here in the releases right click open a new tab go there and then you see the latest, latest version first and you can go if you want another version find that one below but i start with the latest one and here in the assets section you see some kinds of uh, packages zip folders source code that you can use to install things okay and you should look for one which has the word win w-i-n for windows unfortunately for this latest version there is no such so I go one version back, which is this one. I open the assets section. There are two win.zip, you see. The 64 is for 64-bit windows and 86 is for the 32-bit windows. So this one is the one that I need. I click on it and I install it and you see it's, it doesn't have much size. It's just 52 megabytes. I already installed it and located in a folder here. You see this? And what I like to do is always to change these extra dots in the name of files or folders with dash because sometimes it causes some problem. But anyway, for, for the moment, I just unzip this here. Mm -hmm. And as I said, I love to change this with dash it's not necessary but it's safer and i copy the name because i need to paste it somewhere else and i don't need this one i can delete it and you can check what is inside the license and then the bean and then there is a python thing so i need to give the address to the location of this folder that is open right now and the one above, this one, to um, environment variable path of a Python in computer. So what I will do is, let's first copy this one. Okay. Put it down. I need to go to environment variable. There are two ways to do that. Right click on this PC, properties, scroll down advanced system settings environment variables okay that's one way the other way is to use a shortcut from your keyboard press the button that has a windows sign and r together so you have this around then start writing this run dll and sometimes mistype you see there are several things in the memory 32.exe one space sys dm not system sometimes i misspell it also system but the correct one is sys dm dot cpl comma edit environment variable okay and then press okay you go here so first in the path in the variable i double click and then i add a new one i paste the address to that bin folder for Z3, I press OK, and then I add a new one also here, 
I call it the um, should should be Python path all in capital. If I remember correctly, Python path, and then I need location to the Python folder of G three. So I copy this address, I paste it here. Okay, and then okay. Now I open the editor. I say uh, import Z3 works. If I say show what is in Z3, you see there are plenty of things and you can see a lot of things. Are there. Okay, now let's go back to two examples or few examples. This Boolean thing and just I will remove this equivalent to true because we know that I want this statement to be true so I just simply write this I need to tell Python or the three define two boolean variables a and b so let me open uh, this idea again put this in the back so from z3 import everything and then I say a comma b equal Bulls, and then the string uh, a space b okay so it says booleans okay and then i say define a solver with the name s solver with nothing inside now i say add i should add one uh, one class for each of these things so yeah this I want A or B to be true, okay. Add to S or A comma B and one comma this comma is this end here and then not B okay and I press enter now to check that this uh, formula is satisfiable there are assignment to make it satisfied I say s dot check it says it is satisfiable and if I want to see one uh, satisfiable assignment I say s dot model it says put true for a and false for b as we expected let's uh, do another one this one so i define a new uh, solver as two equal to solver mm -hmm. and i add to it again or a b and not and here is another and inside i cannot put a comma for that we'll put and mm -hmm a b this is closing not and this is closing uh, everything this should be unsaid because we cannot have at least one of them true and at the same time both of them on we have how can it be? so s2 dot check oh it is set oh, i put put negation or Oh, okay, okay. So this means at least one of them being wrong and false and at least one of them being true. Okay. If I wanted something unsaid, I had to do it differently. Uh, S3 solver S3 add. Let's go very simple. A B. Oh, sorry. Uh, A b not <laughs> something very trivial sorry not a or b <laughs> this should be for sure on the sad this one is for sure on the side okay and f3 check on sad okay finally success <laughs> and for sure if you ask model this time it should show an error because there is no assignment that makes it true no 
three and then yeah it says i'm sorry we have to run to okay fine you can also have non-boolean variables let's say you want to find a real value of a such that for every real is x square being greater than a which is true because you can simply put minus one for a and then because a square of every real is non-negative this will hold you know so how do i do that let's um, close it open it again because i want everything be at the top of the page so it's easier to see them mm -hmm. put this again here from z3 import everything and i define i think now it should be uh, the fourth thing but what first let me define a and x now are not real are not booleans but are reals string a x um, okay and f4 i could have start from f again but anyway a solver and add to it um for all and for all x in square bracket x and remember power explanation is with double star in python square greater than a and that's everything okay and we check it and if you want some i guess it will return minus one that's the easiest one yes and now let's go make it a bit more complicated let's say can this happen when a is uh, positive which will be wrong because uh, we, are, we want for every real x but x being zero will be always smaller than a positive value no so five uh, solver is five add the same thing for all x x um square being greater than a and a being positive i think it should be fine but for safety i i always do a lot of things just put in here to be sure that it can only get the end here okay okay it should be false this time s5 check is unset and I, i'm not going to check model because well, there is no assignment so that's everything i hope uh, it solved some problem for you if you couldn't uh, use this three as a module in python now you should be able to do that there is a nice documentation about using z3 and how i know that i should type for all with capital f or a and uh, the script that you should use to write these things uh, i will put a link for that in the description below if you have any other question you can ask me